Okie dokie, friends. Welcome back. Just Christina here. So today we're going to finish the introductory pages in the preface of The Mark is Ready, Are You? And the laser beam number, this talks about essentially how it's done. This was a three-way conference call. And let's go ahead and read, shall we? At 2.34 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, February 20th, 1975, Spokane operator 539 arranged a three-way conference call. The parties involved were Nadine Gerke, WWCC's fourth estate journalism advisor, myself, and an electronic engineer who wishes to remain anonymous. We will call him Roger. Roger is employed in the San Francisco-Oakland Bay Area and is well-versed on the subject of laser beam technology. Mr. Steele, the operator announced because Ron Steele is the I in the I. Okay, so this is from his point of view. Mr. Steele, the operator announced, Yes, I replied anxiously. Your party is on the line, she informed. Go ahead, please. Hello, Roger, are you there? I asked. Yes, I am, he answered, probably wondering what's going on. And so started an 18-minute conversation revolving around laser beams. Our interest in calling was to verify whether or not a laser beam numbering was a rumor. He informed us that it was not and proceeded to explain the technique, which is now under consideration for applying to the human body. He referred to an article he had read on electro optical system, electro optical systems design. He stated that the article not only explained how it was possible to print a number on a human hand with a laser beam, but also implied that such technology was actually being evaluated for future use for that purpose. In essence, Roger explained that a laser beam could painlessly apply a number on a person's hand by scarring the tissue, which would remain invisible to the naked eye. He mentioned two ways of detection. One way is by the use of infrared rays and a frequency of 940 nanometers. Um, nano is 10 to the minus ninth. That is just below the visible light frequency. The other way of detection is by using a laser scanner. The laser scanner uses a filter which cuts down all light wavelengths except those desired. It works on the same principle as some of the UPC scanners using lasers. Those scanners are being piloted in supermarkets around the world. Roger informed us that the Spectral Physics of Mountain View, just south of San Francisco, manufactures laser scanners at present IBM, NCR, Singer Business Machines, and Sperry Univac have incorporated them in their automated checkout systems. I asked Roger whether he thought all of this technology was leading, where he thought all of this technology was leading, and he replied that he definitely felt in the near future everyone would be numbered with a laser beam for the sole purpose of buying and selling. <laughs> 